Unfortunately <laughs> for you, I don't intend to share power. It's time for you to die. Oh man. But I don't want any power. <laughs> uh. Welcome back. I'm shopping at Yavin, and this just happened. He was telling me about new items he had. And then these guys just appeared. Oh, damn. <laughs> Leave now. Then you're not teaching us anything. Hate to break it to you. Oh, there's a lot of them. Uh, I don't know how large of an area this affects, but I'll try it anyway. Actually, they're all melee, so I'll wait for them to group together. So I'll kill this guy. What? Whoa! What the hell happened there? Okay. Um... So they're not all melee. Whatever. Insanity anyways! Now flurry him! Yep, that's right. Now, kill him. Kill him! Okay, you're you're being stupid, and you're. <sighs> Need a life support pack. Now. Ooh. And one of those. And oh my, level him up. Right now. Treat injury. Okay, sure. And you. Computer use and repair. Sounds good to me. Now you're full health. Good job, guys. Good job. Now let's get this done. Yes! There we go. Now it works. Why did they bring so many of them? Did they really think they're gonna put up like Sue Bomb? Did they really think he was gonna put up this much of a fight? Yeah! God, I freaking love that force power. Freaking love it. Oh, it worked. I thought it I thought he saved. That was a waste. I can only use one more, I think. That's alright. Uh-oh. That's all right. There's only one left, I think. No, there's two. Left. Still. Come on. I did not mean to do that. Okay. You guys stop that. And ah. Oh. All right. Just Flurry this guy. There we go. HK and I are of the same mind. There, now I'm level up. And his attention is on me, not HK. Oh yeah. Goodbye. Stupid Trandoshans. That was actually a surprisingly tough fight. Come on, dude. I just saved your life. It won't be cheap. Are you kidding me? Oh, I thought I only had 4,000 credits. I have 43,000 credits, so... I'm good. Um... I don't know what these do, and I don't know how to use them, so... I'm just gonna sell them. And same thing. <laughs> same thing. Oh wow, those are worth a lot too. I'm keeping those, obviously. Dark Jedi Knight robes. Jedi Master robe. Keep that... I'm, I like to keep my unique stuff for the most part. I don't know why I didn't sell this stuff. Holy. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to sell this to... Uh, should I? That's light armor. I can give that to Mission. Wait, this is light armor too. 
And it's upgradable. This one's not. Sell it. Sinagar war suit. Yeah. Not of much use to me. Not much use to me. Not much use to me. Mandalorian battle armor. And keep that. Keep that. Chani foil. Sell. And a hard and poison blade vibro sword. That's a unique one, though. So I'll keep that. Bastila's lightsabers, which somehow I have. I don't know how she, like, teleported them to me after she... Whatever. I don't need two green crystals. I don't need two next door crystals. Worth a lot. Wow. <laughs> um, I don't need three freaking sigil crystals either. There. Uh, I don't need that. What? The hell? Why are these so... Whoa! 50% stun chance. Five weapon modifier. And this one's good against droids. With a 25% stun chance. Whew. Um... I'm gonna sell the droid one. Sell one of those. Now, which one of these is better? 2 to... 12 plus 2 is 7. Okay, so this one's better. So I'll sell this one. And... I know this episode was not meant to be a freaking shopping episode, but that stupid cutscene had to happen while I was just trying to shop. So, I'm going to sell this carbine. Sell both of those. There's no point in keeping all these freaking weapons. Light Repeating Blaster, definitely don't need that. Heavy Repeating Blaster, don't need that either. Sniper Rifle is freaking useless because it's not actually a Sniper Rifle. Stupid thing. Um, all my grenades I'll keep. Breath Mask I'll keep. Hmm. Oh yeah, my Blaster Bolt Deflection isn't this plus five anymore. Oh well, sell these. Oh my god, sell those. I don't need all these freaking energy shields. Sell the slightly used one. And... I don't have anyone who uses stealth. I'm gonna sell both of these, because it's only card or cardio plus one. Constitution plus one. That's not, you know, terribly good. Same with these. Mmm, sell that, I'm never gonna use it. Sell one of those. Data pads I keep. Adrenals I keep. Mines I do not keep. So sell those. Keep all my upgrades. Don't need two of those. And... Hmm. Yeah, I don't need that. I, and that's finally it. Okay, so I now have close to 89,000 credits. That's pretty awesome. Hmm. What does he have now? So he's going to be showing me stuff that... I didn't see before. That's what I'm wearing now, I think. Um, oh, what? <gasps> the legendary artifact known as Heart of the Guardian? The founding of the Guardian Order of Jedi. Nothing further is mentioned, but both Sith and Jedi whisper their own legends. According to the Jedi, the heart will appear in a time of greatest turmoil and deliver the galaxy into salvation. The Sith, however, believe it to be an object of their heritage which will bring the galaxy under their dominion. The heart of the Guardian appears to be a magnificently shaped lightsaber crystal of unknown composition. Analysis by Sivan Tan has yielded inconclusive results, not being able to identify what mineral is made of. Sivan has even begun to wonder if it is a normal crystal at all. For times, it almost seems as if it were alive. Holy. All known lightsaber crystals seem to have a strange resonance with the heart of the Guardian, their properties being altered or enhanced when in close proximity to it. Additionally, the energy focuses the heart results in a beam of unique clarity and color. That is freaking awesome. I'm probably going to get that. But I like to look at everything before I decide. So, only 
guns. Whoa. Whoa. That, it's only 9,500? This is something that should be like 22,000. Holy crap. That's pretty cool, man. This is cheap. I'm buying it. Okay. Treat injury plus 10. Wow. And... Sterity plus 5. I think that's what the armor stuff has. Like, when the armor says max dexterity bonus plus 3 or whatever, it means you can never get a bonus of higher than 3. So this would default to a plus 3. I think that's what it means, because I've gone this whole game just ignoring it, because I don't know what it means. But, anyways. Um, that's what I sold him. My composite heavy plating. I'm pretty sure that's what I bought already for Mr. Droid Man. Okay, I'm going to get that crystal then. Oh! <gasps> The mantle of the force. I didn't even see this. Item assembled by Sufum Tom for beats found in the ruins of Exar Kun's temples on the fourth moon. Overdeen Avenue appears to be the remains of an even older artifact of unknown origin. It is unknown if it was used by Exar Kun or just uncovered when the temples were destroyed. Nor is it known what the original properties of the item were. But given the original abilities, it must have the original state. It must have been fearsome indeed. The mantle is a crystalline lattice, resembling a lightsaber crystal in many ways, but having the additional property of being able to radically alter the flow of energy to pass the duo. When combined with other crystals, the mantle warps their properties, often enhancing them to incredible levels. Additionally, the mantle seems to almost act as a focusing tool for force sensitive individuals, leading to the idea that original artifact may once have been powerful to the Sith or bad something took with it when the Dark Digital is split from the Order. That one's even more expensive. I'm buying it. I'm buying it, and I'm buying this one. Dude, I have nothing else to spend credits on. Why not? Dude, why not? Stop freaking yelling at me! I got the freaking crystal, leave me alone! Oh, I'm level up too. Nah, I bet you didn't know that, huh? Wrong. You probably knew that even more than I ever did. Uh, I thought I had treat injury, like, maxed. Whatever. Do that. Oh man, what power do I get now? I have destroy droid and kill and insanity. What else could I possibly want? Restricted by freaking armor. Restricted by armor. Uh, I'm never gonna use that. Force push. I'm never gonna use that either. Restricted by armor. Slow. Target to suffer as though deathly ill from poison. Losing 12 points from each physical attribute. Wow. Target is also slowed for the duration. It is impossible to save against its effects. That's pretty cool. That's really useful for like a boss. They cannot save against it, no matter how strong they are, or how force resistant they are. And it they lose 12 points in each of their physical attributes, which makes them almost useless in combat. That is freaking awesome. So this puts all creatures to sleep, but I already have insanity for that. Energy resistance. That's an activated power, I don't care. Sector by armor, sector by armor, sector by armor, sector by armor. I could get heal. A healing power. No, I don't have enough force points to spend on that. I need to focus on my offensive abilities. So I'm probably not going to reach it by the time it would be useful to me, but I'm going to go down this road to get Plague. So I'm going to get Slow, which I'm never going to use. Um, two penalty to defense, reflex saves, and attack rolls. Okay, so that's still kind of cool, but I'm still probably never going to use it. So, whatever. Edit, and accept it. And... He doesn't have that gun anymore. The reason I brought Kandris with me is because I was going to get that repeating blaster that I saw last time um, on Suvum Tan, but I didn't buy it because I didn't think I'd ever be using it. But it turns out that I'm actually using Kandris now, especially with his upcoming duel. He could really use it. I at least want to see what it's like compared to his the gun he uses now. Which I haven't changed since I got him. 
but it's really cool that I'm getting a thousand credits for each one of these guys. So it was a tough fight, but it was the game definitely made it worth it to win the fight. You know, as aside from not dying. <laughs> and your thousand credits. And your thousand credits. Thank you. Now I'm just gonna check one more time for that repeating blaster. I'm also gonna check his repeating blaster. So his is it's upgraded, but it's five to fourteen. That's it. This just this just damage five to fourteen, and that's probably yes. just with its upgrade. Um, willing to sell me? Let's just see. So that you can't like sort it into weapons and armor and stuff. Um. Oh, maybe it was this one. Whoa, oh. three to twenty-two. And it's upgradable. This is the one I was. This is definitely the one I was talking about. Eighteen thousand. Get it. You can use that one now. Alright, back to the ship. And then I'm gonna... Uh, take the upgrades out of his current blaster and put them into his new one. And see how much that affects it. What are the... Oh yeah! I wanna freaking these lightsaber crystals that are awesome. It's too bad I, I use a double-bladed instead of two lightsabers, because ultimately, if you think about it, two lightsabers has four upgrades, whereas a double-bladed lightsaber only has two upgrades at the cost of... or at the, the trade-off of more damage. But, let's see. Ranged. Uh, Ordo's Repeating Blaster. Take that out, take that out, take that out. And go. So now it just does 2 to 11. Um, this one... Does 3 to 22 just right off the bat, without even being upgraded, which is ridiculous. And then, I still don't have a freaking scope. Whatever. Fire damage? Cool. Beam splitter, more fire damage. What the hell? I love how the upgrades affect different items differently. It's so awesome. There you go, buddy. Uh, and lightsaber. So my lightsaber, obviously. Oh man. Oh man. So that's like sky blue, and this one is... Whoa! Orange! Okay, okay, so what does this do? So energy, 7 to 25. Attack, plus 2. Blaster bolt deflection, plus 7. This one is 7 to 25. Attack plus two, dexterity plus one, blaster bolt plus five. So this one is less blaster bolt deflection, same damage, same attack modifier. So the only thing that's different is two less blaster bolt deflection, one more dexterity. The heart of the guardian is orange though. That's awesome. But I want my purple. Whatever. I'm gonna keep my purple one, but still. So okay. Pila, which is bonus energy damage. What about if I do this? 6 to 24, so it's less, but higher attack now, and blastable deflection. No, that's the same. I'm an idiot. Mm, oh, that also gives me massive criticals, doesn't it? Pondar gives me a chance to stun. Does that get increased? Not really. And Sigil. 5 to 30? Is that higher? Than the, what I was using? 7 to... Okay, so I'm gonna probably use the Sigil. But... Because this one gives me an attack bonus. The other one gives me massive criticals, but I don't really care about criticals. I just want my constant damage up. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, so okay. With this configuration... And wax is the blaster bolt deflection, which I'm I'm good with. Plus damage bonus, so that's awesome. So five to thirty, two and seven. Five to thirty, two, one and five. Yeah, all right. <sighs> Jolie's lightsaber. 
He's Mantle of the Force. That's good for him. Energy 2 to 16, plus 1 to 8 against Dark Side, 3 physical, 25% chance to stun, attack plus 3, Jesus, Jolie. <laughs> Mantle of the Force. 3 to 24, 2 to 12, paralyzed 25%. Is that different from stun? How is that different? Attack plus 4. Okay, yeah, there you go. Oh, man. Freaking orange. That's cool. Um, oh, yeah. And you... I'm not using that anymore. You are now using this one! Oh, my God! 3 to 18! Fire bone... Oh, my freaking... You're coming with me from now on, Candorous. You are awesome now. Well, I mean, you were kind of awesome before, but... You're kind of an idiot, too, with your strength stat. You don't even do melee. Anyways, I'm gonna go to, uh... Tatooine. That's it. And... Where the frick is Tatooine? Oh! it's That's Tatooine. I can't go to Tatooine. There's Tatooine. Okay, and I'm gonna pause it. Thanks for watching! See you next episode.